I think that the message was clear to the government. As we normally address our issues to the government, it wasn't just a rhetoric, but we want the government to know that we are sending our concerns straight to him to be addressed. As government, it is expected that you take charge and uh, ensure that the concerns of your citizens, including workers, are addressed. So yesterday, the message was directly directed to the President, His Excellency. And for years, anytime you meet at May Day and we put some concerns across, uh, we don't get the full result as expected. And this time around, I think that it's not going to be just a rhetoric, just a saying that we go back to sit. We are going to follow whatever you have said from A to Z. And then we are going to take government also on and ensure that whatever promises, whatever responses that we gave yesterday at the Jubilee Park in Bolgatanga is adhered to. This time around, we are not going to just sit down and look on because for four years, we have not achieved what is expected to be achieved during May Day. May Day is the day that we commemorate our, our heroes who actually died, who actually fought for the cause of workers' rights, who actually made us today enjoy the working conditions that we are enjoying. This barbaric behavior is really its ugly head again in this very country, where some employers are trying to trample upon the rights of workers. They are making organizing and formation of unions very difficult in this very country. And the clear examples are of the power plant in this company, uh, this country. So, Evans, I think that the message was clear to the government and he also gave a response. But we are going to hold government to, to account whatever he has said uh, at the Julie Park yesterday.